Hey, what's up everyone? This is Teacher Dell, and we are back with another lesson under Statistics and Probability. Last time, we discussed about data collection activity. First, you need to remember to hide the identity of your respondents because of the law in confidentiality. We also talked about data and how to give meaning to data. First, you need to answer who, what, when, where, why, and how. The six W's of the data. Now let us proceed to our next lesson. Lesson number three, basic terms in statistics. First, universe. Universe is the collection of respondents from whom one obtained the data. Others call it population. Next, sample. Sample is a subgroup of a universe or of a population. Now take a look at the picture behind the text. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we have 10 respondents here. All of the 10 respondents are what you call your universe. But the 1, 2 here can be called a sample or the subgroup. Next, variables. The information asked from the respondents are what you call the variables. A variable is a characteristic that is observable or measurable in every unit of the universe. So take note, the characteristic of a variable is observable or measurable. Now let's take a look at the two types of variables. We have the qualitative variable and the quantitative variable. Quantitative variable is divided into two types, discrete and continuous. Qualitative variable express a categorical attributes such as sex, means male or female, religion, marital status, region of residence, highest educational attainment. Remember, qualitative variable describes now remember do not strictly take on numeric values unless a word is presented by a number for example you're being asked how happy are you rate your happiness from 1 to 10 now 1 to 10 still is considered a qualitative variable because your happiness is being described using numbers next Quantitative variable A numerical data whose sizes are meaningful. It answers questions such as how much or how many. Quantitative variables have actual units of measure. It can be counted and measured. Quantitative variable can be discrete. These data are those data that can be counted. The number of days for cell phones to fail, number of patients in a hospital, these data assume only a finite or infinitely countable. So you can count like one, two, three. Next type of quantitative variable is continuous. These data are those data that can be measured. The exact height of a survey respondent, the exact volume of some liquid substance, the possible values are uncountable infinite so it is measurable there's no exact number it's infinite 169.4737 so as you can see here we have here an infinite number sometimes when we measure our height we would say that we are 150 centimeters like five feet right but if you try to zoom in in that number or data, it is infinite. There are still some 
point zero 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 something in that data so that is measured or continuous we have here some variables and i would like you to identify what is the type of variable and if that variable is quantitative what type of quantitative variable first one class student number this is qualitative it does not mean that it represents that it is a number it is already quantitative it is qualitative because the student number represents a person of course we do not need to answer type of quantitative number two sex this is also qualitative number of siblings quantitative data what type of quantitative variable discrete of course it's not continuous it's not measured type of variable weight this is also quantitative what type of quantitative variable continuous it is measured in kilograms next height is quantitative still it is continuous age of mother of course quantitative what type of quantitative variable this is discrete you can just ask um, how old are you then there's an exact number usual daily allowance in school in pesos now this is quantitative and it is discrete usual daily food expenditure in school this is quantitative and discrete what is the usual sleeping time this is qualitative you can just say 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock most preferred color this is qualitative happiness index for the day by rating it 1 to 10 still just like what I said earlier it is qualitative so let's take a look at this one and answer whether it is qualitative or quantitative what type of quantitative variable number one highest educational attainment number two predominant hair color number three body temperature number four civil status number five brand of laundry soap being used number six total household expenditures last month in pesos number seven number of children in the household number eight number of hours standing in queue while waiting to be served by a bank teller number nine amount spent on rice last week by the household number 10 distance traveled by the teacher in going to school now let us answer number one highest educational attainment qualitative you could just answer like elementary high school or undergrad like that number two predominant hair color this is also qualitative body temperature it's quantitative and it is continuous because you have to measure your body temperature civil status qualitative brand of laundry soap being used qualitative total household expenditures last month in pesos this is quantitative and discrete number of children quantitative discrete number of hours standing in queue while waiting to be served by a bank teller answer quantitative d amount spent on rice last week by the household quantitative d number 10 distance traveled by the teacher in going to school quantitative c 
Explanation for number 8, number of hours, it's not measurable. You have just to count how many number of hours, like 1 hour, 2 hour, like that. Number 10, distance traveled by the teacher. It is quantitative because you have to measure the distance, like for example, in meters or kilometers. And that's it for our lesson for today. Please, if you want to have some more lessons under probability and statistics, or statistics and probability you can just take a look at the playlist shown in your screen that's it for today this has been teacher Dell. bye